Hello Capricorn, welcome to the channel. Hope you're all doing well and thank you for your likes, shares and subscribes. Please remember this is a general reading. It will not resonate with everyone. You can look at your moon and rising signs. These messages might suit you better. Please remember this is a timeless reading. So when you're drawn to it, it's when you're meant to hear it. Strength. Now this is about courage and strength. It's also about confidence when it comes to strength. We're always stronger than we give ourselves credit for. If we think about everything we've been through in life and survived, that's where we can gain our confidence. We have got strength to get through the challenges that are presented. Friendships. Now, this is soulmate type of energies. So, uh, friends, uh, it could be relationships of any kind. It doesn't have to be friends, but relationships of any kind. Soulmate type energies are people that come into our lives that are part of our soul tribe that help us learn and teach us things about ourselves here. There are also people who will support us when we're wanting to move on to new goals. There are people who should be supporting our dreams. Expect powerful change, new moon eclipse. So there's changes coming. You might want to, you know, have the right people that are enthusiastic for you, that have got your back around you here. It could take strength and courage to bring these changes in. But there's a powerful change coming into your life. Wonderful. Wonderful. New moons. That's the moon moving away and new opportunities, new doors are opening up for you here. There we go again. The world card. Beautiful energy. The Two of Swords. Again, strength. This is courage and strength. Leo energy. You could be dealing with a Leo or somebody with Leo in their chart. The Magician. The beautiful central energy is the Two of Cups. The Three of Swords. The Four of Wands. The Six of Cups, beautiful, playful energy here. And the Queen of Swords. Now, there's been upsets and disappointments here in some area of your life. Now, it could be within your friendships, your relationships. It could be any area of your life. But this heartfelt disappointment, there is no pentacles on this table. This is to do with your emotions, it's to do with your choices and your goals. So you've, you're manifesting something here, but you've been set back. You've been disappointed here. Don't let it put you off. Don't, you know, don't lose heart here. These disappointments will change. I'm sure I've got this reading somewhere else for Capricorn. This is going on a lot. Anyway, the goal that you're manifesting, there's going to be disappointments. You've been disappointed up till now. However, there's powerful change coming in. Be strong. Continue down the path you're doing. Continue to work on your goals. Don't lose heart here. You've achieved a certain amount, even if it's just clarity about knowing what path you want to go down here, because this is one. You're trying to manifest something here. You're trying to bring things, something to fruition. And there's setbacks and upsets. But what Spirit's saying is you've got what it takes, so don't give up on this. You've got the strength and the courage that's needed here. You've also learned enough in your life's journey here to know that um, you've got what it takes. So use your skills, work to your skill set here. You have got the Midas touch. Always remember as well, I want to say goals only come to fruition in divine timing. And we're the only people that have timing. In the spirit world, there's no timing. So, you know, if it's not happening now, if it's not went your way, if there's a missed opportunity of some kind or disappointment, any kind, it's just because it's not the right time. It's not the right time. And having the right people round about you to support you and chat with you and, you know, and talk about things going through things with you it will definitely help. Now, there's decisions that are going to have to be made in regards to these disappointments and the goals that you're trying to achieve. Now, it might be that you've had to wait on information coming in before you can make your decision or your next move. But this decision will have to be made. You might There might have been a waiting period before you could make a decision about how you're going to go forward to deal with this. You also might need to gather more information here to decide what path you're going to go down if there's been any kind of disappointment in a certain area of your life. Now, you're going to have the courage to make the right decisions. It's, you will get over these upsets. They're setbacks. You're strong enough to deal with these things and you'll go forward to make these decisions. And the decisions that you'll make will be clear intellectual decisions. You know, this is emotional. This is heartfelt disappointment here. You've got the news and it's caused disappointment. That's emotional, but you're going to come, you're going to, you know, get over this and you're going to be able to go forward to make good strategic intelligence decisions for your future with regards to the goal that you're trying to achieve. Now, you are going to achieve your goal. 
You are going to achieve it. You're strong enough to achieve it. You're going to make the right decisions. There might be adjustments needed to be made. There might be information that needs to be gathered here. Like I say, before decisions can be made, you might have to go back to the drawing board here and look at the details of things and readjust things here so that you can go forward onto the path that you want. Now, there's a determination attractive, uh, you know, attract, att I'll say that again. There's a determination attached to this Queen of Swords energy. Now, when I say he or she, it's not a gender specific reading, but she is somebody who will not go back on the decision she, she's made. She's strong, she's powerful, she's determined to achieve these goals. She'll speak up, she'll make the decisions that are necessary, she'll make the necessary changes. Uh, the, might, the opportunity you've been going for might not have been for you. You might have to make necessary, the necessary changes here to get back on the right path. But she's strong and determined and she's independent minded and very clear about what she wants to achieve. So I don't think that you don't believe you can't achieve your goal. I just feel that you've been disappointed on the path that you're going down. So you will get into your own. You will find the strength to go forward and make the necessary adjustments. I feel there's adjustments needing to be made here. <clears throat> now, you will successfully, when it comes to this goal, you will achieve it. You'll successfully shut out one chapter of your life and go through this portal and start the new chapter. You will achieve this goal. Your, achieve, your goal is going to be achieved. You're going to be victorious. <clears throat> it might take a certain amount of perseverance here. Definitely, I feel that. Making sure we've got the right connections. Making sure we've got the right support networks as well. Uh, people we can talk to to iron things out. People that can give us advice. <coughs> Excuse me, all that type of thing. Somebody who maybe even sees the situation a wee bit clearer than you. If you're feeling disappointed and let down. Friendships, soul tribes, families, people you can talk things through, discuss the disappointments with. But you're going to be very successful and there's going to be success in the future because you're determined and you're making good, solid decisions here for your future. There'll be success, there'll be victory. You will create stability for you and your family or your soul tribe. So take that as it resonates. You will move things on to the next chapter and the next level. And what's going to happen here is you're going to be very content. You're going to come into emotional balance here. Now, it's important as well that if we get over the disappointments, we get back onto an emotional level and even keel so that we can make solid foundations because we're not going to make good decisions for ourselves if we're still upset. So we need to find that grounding there as well. But you're going to be very content. You and your higher self, you're connecting in, you're in harmony. That's why we're, you're achieving. Um, you're achieving because you're listening to your intuition as well. And this is the right people, like I say, the right people showing up, the right support networks is highly important at this time. People who understand you, who've got your back, who you can discuss things with, who can put you back onto an emotional level, a good, well-balanced emotional level. And bring a childlike joy as well sometimes into the situation. When things are difficult, we sometimes need to lighten things up a bit. So we can reminisce about the past. We can talk about our achievements in the past here and how well we've done, how far we've come. We've got fond memories of the past here. There can also be people from your past turning up, coming back onto your, your, into your life here that could help you with your goals. So people you've got fond memories with, the right people. There can also be somebody from a previous life that, that crosses your path at this moment in time that helps you with your decision making and your goal achieving. And there is very powerful changes coming for you, Capricorn, and you deserve it. And the reason you deserve it is because you are prepared to work through the disappointments, stay focused, be determined, get back to the drawing board, if you like, readjust the things that's needed, and you're, you're going to achieve this. There's a new chapter coming in. You're going to be very successful, even after times of upset and challenges. Healing. Healing. I, the angel of, heal of healing, am with you right now. Feel my presence and my unwavering love for you. I have loved you before the dawn of time and will love you for eternity. Spirit is helping you get over the disappointments here. That's why the right people are around you. Transformation. And this is your, this is your goal coming to fruition. This is a new life chapter starting, you see. 
Through the great love that holds you in its embrace, you are moment by moment transfer, transforming and to ever greater light, ever greater oneness and ever greater wisdom. You're getting it. You're getting over these challenges and you're making good decisions. You're going to transform things. Your goals are coming to fruition. Okay, I hope this helps. Please like, share and subscribe and I'll see you again soon. Bye-bye.